why head that direction? My god, oh my god. I, I could reenact a typical Yu-Gi-Oh fight right now. Listen. Let's do! I will begin with this large, ugly beast in attack mode. Aha! You are finished! For this is the best move in all of blah 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 Hold on! You've triggered my trap car! How long does this fucking go on? Stop changing L pictures! That does not improve commentaries! Must not sound constipated! and fragment dialogue that does not improve my commentary vows. Now I'll do this and blah 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 blah. Oh no! How did I see this coming? I should need a new strategy. Now to moan like I'm having my balls licked. Blah blah card games blah. Blah 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 attack mode blah. Blah 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 blah. See how better that is? That's because it's actually funny. While that may be the case, I won't lie, DCE's little joke actually got a few laughs out of me. I mean, it didn't have me on the floor, but still. Wow, Dark Scream 217, you liar! I failed to see how this commentary was that great. Do you see? She spewed her opinion as a fact. Something you have a reputation of doing. You know what I did find? I did watch the whole HDG. I find it's quite hilarious. Now I wouldn't say it's hilarious. I'd actually say it's uh, it's worth a chuckle. But that's about the most it'll get out of me. I don't know if anyone else thinks that. Surprisingly, most people uh, well, most people hate Handy Dandy guys because of their biasm. Even though his handy dandy guys have awful, ridiculous, degenerated, stupid, disasterful, failing, disgraceful, confounded, and preposterous ideas that you forgot to mention random people will just what the fu- oh. Do I have to reignite my thoughts on random DC? I guess I don't have to repeat myself about the HDG, even though everyone state I already said it, but I shouldn't join the DC as the devil bandwagon because. That's just my opinions on random DCs, HDGs. But this Yu-Gi-Oh! one was absolutely hilarious. Better than card games for the win could do. And that is my opinion! Right, I can go ahead and complain about someone else spewing their opinion as a fact, but it's perfectly okay for me to do it. I mean, let's face it, I know people have their hypocritical moments, but... <laughs> Yours is probably one of the most hypocritical. Not yours. Card games for the win sucks ass. And the reason why I hate it is because of its censorship. I'm not gonna lie, I've never really been one to be pro-censorship myself, but even with the censorship, I still find it funny. And I've actually said this before on the Velocity 11 commentary I did, but it seems to me that you're letting one little thing ruin the whole thing for you. It's not funny. I still think the censorship sucks. At least I'm only bitching about it because on censorship, it is my opinion. Censorship in general, at least. Ah, uh, my next car will hit you directly. Ha 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 ha! Oh no, you're finished. Ha ha. Oh yeah. Why well, don't we play this to activate that? Which will in turn do this and leave you like that. Once again, leave the Yu-Gi-Oh jokes to Little Karibo, they're actually funny. But he sucks! In my opinion! And I have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. Blah 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 Please don't make me repeat myself, DCE. Now why the fuck will you use Velocity 11's picture? Blah blah penis! <laughs> okay, that that would. <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't focus. That, that was that was actually pretty funny though. Okay, that was kind of funny too. Get the idea? The chatter in this show is boring and so complex you have to be an expert or Stephen Hawking to figure out what the fuck they're on about. Oh come on, DCE. It's not that boring or complex. You're saying it because you like it. And you're saying that because you hate it. I mean, it's a show about children's card games. How can it be super duper complex? 
Plus, how can it be boring with English dialogue that's lulzy like this? <laughs> it looks like your strategy backfires, giving me the advantage, little Joey. Wrong! Huh. Do you think I'd be dumb enough to let that happen? Yes! Now tell me, is that boring and complex? I hate to break it to you, but the answer is yes, because you know when DC made an earlier point about repetitive dialogue? He's actually right on that one, because I did see Yu-Gi-Oh! I practically watched 17 episodes straight, and I had to stop, because the repetitive dialogue is that repetitive. You hear this in every... Okay, let's start off by replaying the clip that you played again. <laughs> it looks like your strategy backfires, giving me the advantage, little Joey! You hear that in every single fucking battle. Really? It is boring. Wrong! Huh. Do you think I'd be dumb enough to let that happen? Yes! There, that answers the question. Yes, it is complex. Move. That joke was just plain terrible. Moving on. Step 3. Pokio. Just because monsters are fighting for the humans doesn't mean they're all exactly alike, like they're fucking clones of each other. I often compare this series to Pokemon. They both share pretty much the same backstory and ambition. Okay, one show is about a kid who has an ancient Egyptian artifact playing children's card games and beating villains like Pegasus and Merrick, while the other show is about a kid collecting monsters to be the Pokemon master. Your argument is flawed! Now that's better. Except one's morally retarded, while the other is completely retarded. To the point this show should have been one season and bend in favor of something else. The main reason I love Sentai is... Wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on, hang on. What does Sentai have to do anything with Yu-Gi-Oh? Why are you bringing this up? Shenanigans! <laughs> Shenanigans! Once they've done everything possible with a series, they stop doing it in favor for something else. They know when something's run its course, instead of doing the same thing over and over and over again. Kind of like another show I hate. But the reason why they keep doing it is because some people actually like the show. Yeah, and apparently they bitch the haters about it, and they'll continue to make videos about it on YouTube and spam the hell out of pe these haters. Practically like you do, in fact. She's not whining, bitching, and throwing complete fits. She's actually being a little more level-headed than most people, in my mind. Last time I checked, this series into something called Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and who knows, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a guide to that one day. To tell you the truth, uh, that's actually my favorite part of the series, and exactly why, I don't know. It, 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 there's just something about it, you know? Why would you do a handy dandy guide on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anyway? You would just bring up the same six steps from this guide. Step 4. The name. I hate to be a nitpicky nerd here, but it translates out to Game King. Normally, the title of a series tells you a little about what the series is all about. My Emorphin Power Rangers. Ah, it's a series of rangers. You know, your FLV conversion is the most terrible conversion ever. It flashes some green bits and some pixelation errors and glitches. God, get a new FLV converter, or better yet, download the MP4 and convert it with a different converter. I myself would personally recommend AVS. So yeah, Windows Movie Maker isn't the best recommendable program. ...who have power by morphing. Transformers. It's a show about Transformers. Yu-Gi-Oh! What the fuck is a Yu-Gi-Oh? Here's an even better question. What kid is going to think about the title of the cartoon anyway? As long as it's good, that's all that should matter. For fuck's sake, stop pulling the children card! Why shouldn't she? It's a perfectly valid argument. To validate your argument, any kid would be curious about the name. Anybody would be curious about this and that and etc. Peak children will care about names and how weird they are, and they'll explain how the names are named like that. What kid is ever going to know about this and that? 
That proves that you're full of ignorance. It sounds like the world's coldest water slide or a trendy ice cream. How about Cardimon? Since it's about card monsters. Oh, uh, wait. We don't want to offend the Pokey tribe, do we? <laughs> what? <laughs> Once again, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh aren't exactly alike. Step 5. Half this and half that. I'm going to have to dig up the editing for this one. If, if one thing I've never understood, half the cast have been renamed with English names. Which is what they do to localize any anime, I guess. This step I can understand because the dubbing company should not have been lazy and edited all of the names if they wanted to edit them. How does editing the names prove they're lazy? In fact, if anything, it proves to me that they want to work a little more. Because if they wanted to be lazy, then if you ask me, they would have just left the names as they are. But what kid is ever going to think that the names are weird because they're Japanese? Like I said, stop pulling the kid card. Funny, I could say the same thing about you and the does not improve commentaries card. Once again, the kid card isn't going to validate any argument whatsoever. Except the perfectly valid arguments. Stop labeling his kid, uh, kids are retards. Not all of them are retards. So you have things like Joey Wheeler, but there are names like Seto Kaiba and Yugi Moto. What, did they stop changing them halfway through? I'm sorry, through is not a word. You mean through? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? I'm the Gramalos! Spewing out references is not funny, it's retarded, it's overused, it's shit, it's bullcrap, and... Really? Do you honestly think that it will improve commentaries? No, it won't. What do you think this video helped? Nothing. You even have nothing constructive to say unlike me. Well, at least in some areas, but in this video, no. If you're going to rename characters, do them all, not some. And finally, step six, logic. Not all shows require logic to be watchable. There was one episode where a character was being mugged, so the main hero challenged them to a duel. Why the mugger didn't stab the silly cunt, I'll never understand. See, I am a follower of the greater power known as logic. Well, of course it's illogical. First thing, it's a cartoon. It's not even real. So anything could fucking happen. Second thing, it's a show where they're playing children's card games. What more do you need? Of course it's going to be illogical. Actually, that's a good argument, in fact. Which tells me lighting your farts is childish and dangerous, running into a truck will kill you, and challenging a mugger to a card game is completely fucking stupid. Once again, it's a show about children's card games. Expect it to be highly illogical. Why not stop a bank robbery with a Game Boy while you're at it? Ha! Oh, it's funny, but I say the same thing to my brother a whole lot. It's funnier when Boomstick does it, so how about we leave it to Boomstick? Get a new headset. You know what? It's hard to try and save this series. I'm, for what I'm willing to bet, it's the worst series Shonen Jump has ever commissioned. Oh, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally, someone strikes a blow to Naruto! I mean, I've seen Naruto, I've read Naruto, and it's not the worst I've ever seen, but for God's sake, when, it seems to me whenever I ask someone what's the first thing they think of when they think anime or manga, they say Naruto. Hello, Bleach anybody? Yeah, second worst I go for. Not funny, plus not funny, equals does not improve commentaries! What the hell brought that on?